Welcome guys, this is Onisha Biggs with another Pharmacy Tech Lesson and today I won't need my notes because today we're going to just talk about different types of measurement or units rather. So, it's going to be very basic, this is going to be a really short video so just listen closely okay and take notes if you need to. You may or may not need this but so we have meters, liters, and grams. So if you notice uh, when we talked about when I taught you about uh, converting units uh, this is what the little our little scale looks like. Then here we had meter, liter, gram and then we had deca centi milli. Okay so this this little section right here is what we're going to be talking about today. So, here, the M, what it stands for is meter, liter, the L is liter, and then here, we have gram. And I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about these three. So basically, if you don't already know, meter represents like distance. So if we're talking about the Olympics, okay, and you have uh, these guys lined up on the line and the gun goes off and they're running track, what they're running is distance, meters. So it may be a 100 meter dash, which is fairly short. So they have to sprint for 100 meters. So meters shows amount of distance that we're going. So miles can be converted into meters. Um, if you're talking about centimeters, okay, uh, you're talking about millimeters, all right? So we have meters. Uh, let's talk about liters. So liters might be uh, a one liter Coke. If you drink Coca-Cola or if you drink a uh, Sprite or some type of juice, your favorite soda, beverage, water, I hope you're drinking water, um, but any uh, beverage that you would have would be represented in liters. Now, I do want to say this. The two that you're going to use the most in the pharmacy are typically the two that you're basically just going to use would be this one and this one liters and grams and let me talk to you about what grams is so grams uh, represents a weight okay so when we're talking about weight we're talking about how much something weighs so you might weigh the gram amount of a powder uh, in a pharmacy uh, you might crush a pill up and weigh the powder or uh, you may even just weigh a pill in grams uh, or, or it'll tell you how many grams are in that compacted into that pill. Okay, so that's when we're dealing with pills. So when we're dealing with liters in the pharmacy, which is a liquid or volume, uh, we may be talking about uh, water. Or we may be talking about NS, which we'll get into later. Or we may be talking about, um, let's see, uh, an amoxicillin. How many milliliters? or how many grams, milligrams of this powder would be needed to mix with water in order to give us a concentrated, uh, certain concentrated solution of amoxicillin. So these two are the ones you're going to ideally be dealing with. I can't ever say that you won't be dealing with meter. I haven't ever dealt with meter in a pharmacy um, and I've both worked retail and in a more clinical and hospital setting. So I can't say you'll never deal with meter. Uh, you may, but I haven't yet. I haven't run across it yet. But just for the sake of you knowing what these three are, we talked about all three, okay? So if you have any questions, ask me, of course, in the comments below. Or you can send an email to PharmacyTechLessons at gmail.com. This is Onisha Biggs, and this has been another Pharmacy Tech Lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.